<clears throat> look like an IG model. Walk with a bottle. Put some. Put stay on full throttle. How the fuck that shit go? Look like an IG model. Walk with a bottle. Body shaped like a Coke bottle. What's up, beauties, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and also turn on your notification bells. Now, was y'all feeling my TikTok in the beginning? Because clearly Instagram and TikTok and even myself was feeling my, you know, my video, whatever. And y'all know I had took a little break, but I'm getting back on my little TikTok game stuff because, you know what I'm saying? I got to just give the girls what I'm supposed to give, you know, get them some inspiration and show them how I create these looks as well. So I knew this look was going to go crazy and I made sure I provided this content for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we're going to, you know, get straight into it. So for starters, I am starting off with a 12 inch, a 14 inch and a 14 inch lace closure 5x5. And this is from my hair collection. No, I have not released the blonde bundles on the site yet. But I will be adding it to the site whenever I just decide to stop being lazy. <laughs> like for real, for real, y'all. But um, today I'm going to show you guys how I created this um, lime green ombre color and also how I installed it. So for starters, I went ahead and did the watercolor method. I filled up my sink with hot water, not boiling water, just, you know, regular hot water from the sink. And the colors that I'm using today is a uh, green apple and I will be using indigo blue and a sapphire blue that I just had like laying around because, you know, you know how you dye hair and you still have extra. I just used it because I felt like I was going to need it. So for starters, I went ahead and filled up that sink not all the way, just with enough water to dip and, you know, let the hair sit in there. And I took that first bottle of that green apple and I poured it in there and I just make sure I like, you know, spin the water around until there was no clumps in the water because that is how, um, that is one way to prevent you sending your lace. You want to make sure that when you're mixing that water and color combination, you get all of those lumps of color out. So once you get those lumps of color out, you can go ahead and begin to dip your hair, your wig, your bundles, whatever you are dipping, and so on. So basically all I did was, you know, put that first batch of color in there, and I let all of the hair sit in it. I dipped it, you know, up and down, up and down, and you just want to make sure that color gets on all of those strands. You do not want any blonde strands in your green hair. So, or any color that you're doing in general. So make sure you are dipping, dipping, dipping until you get that desired vibrant color that you are looking for. So I did, you know, take some time and really dip that, um, you know, those bundles and the closure into the uh, water because I really wanted that green to be nice, even, and vibrant. And I also wanted the greens to match. So I did let the closure sit you know, in there first. I like to go with the frontal or the closure first because it's the like the most important. It's the first thing a person's going to see. And, you know, with everything else underneath, most of it, especially because it's a bobble, it'll get cut off or you won't really see it because the majority of the color um, from the two top bones is what will show the most. So that's why I went ahead and did that lace closure first. And then I took my 14 inch bundle and did that, you know, second because that's the model that's going to lay on top. Because if you have um, recognized from our thumbnail video, this is a curled um, asymmetrical bob look. So super dope, super pretty, super positive feedback. Love it, love it, love it. And it just gave me this inspiration to be like, you know what? We are finna get this coloring series going because it's time to do some colors. Um, and I'm finna get so much blonde that I just want to try so many different looks. So make sure you guys have on your notifications because we is not about to play with the looks this season, period. So with that being said, happy June. Today is June 1st. I'm gonna try to bring y'all a video with color at least once a week i'm gonna try my best to if i get lucky maybe two a week but you know just make sure you have your notifications turned on but nevertheless we're gonna get into the blue shade color now i used um indigo blue and sapphire blue and i mixed them together and i just poured the blue that was um the blue into the water that was already green and what that does is when you're doing like ombre looks especially like with this one here it'll help the transition of the color just blend perfectly one because you already have the main like your first color in the water and so when you go in with your second color for the ombre look it'll do like the lime green your transition color and then the next color that you're trying to create and it will not look like a what's the what's the proper term for it 
Um, I can't think of the word right now, but I know somebody in the comments will know what I'm talking about. It Like the line of demarcation, that's what it is. Um, you do not want to get that line where you can see exactly where you, you know what I'm saying, you started the color and exactly where you finished it. Like you want it to all just flow and blend naturally. So I just take the hair and I'm just really dipping like the second half of the hair to just create that ombre look. And I'm just twirling it around and you want to make sure you thoroughly get all that color on there so i'm going to do this a few times you know let it sit in my hand do not put the whole thing in there because you will change the whole color completely so just make sure that you just dip it you know play with it squeeze it rinse it and just do it until you feel like you have that desired shade for your bottom half and once i am done doing all of this i'm going to shampoo and condition the hair which i did not show on camera because you guys all know how to shampoo and condition i'm quite sure you do so um after you know dipping this many many times and getting that desired look i'm going to shampoo and condition it and i did use that tresemme holding i mean not holding spray lord child <laughs> I did use the Tresemme uh, shampoo and conditioner to make sure I, you know, shampoo the hair and, you know, put some, you know, conditioning back into it. And this is the final look of the color. So I'm going to go ahead, shampoo, condition that, and I went ahead and let it air dry for like two days. I just like left it out. So this is the final look of how it looked. There's no stained lace. The lace is transparent lace. This is a five by five lace closure. Um, like I mentioned, 14 inch and then a 12 and 14 inch bundle. But today I decided to do a quick weave. I know some people probably was confused. Some people probably thought this was a wig and all of that. No, I'm actually gonna show you guys real quick how I did this quick weave on myself. And honestly, I really don't like doing bondings on myself no more because I change my looks so much. But um, I did not feel like making a wig, so I'm like, you know what, just forget it. And I was in a rush, so I'm like, let me just hurry up and just do this and get it over with because it is, you know, it was Memorial Weekend and we had plans to step out. So um, just right off the bat, I wanna let you guys, um, let you guys know that I did have two caps on. I put my first cap, you know, like halfway onto my head, and then I took that new cap and put it all the way over my ear to create the little ball cap method on the side for uh, where my closure is going to lay. And what I did was cut the thick, little, you know, the thick little piece off the side of that closure. That way I can lay it down around my ear and it would do like, you know, perfect, been, blend perfectly around my ear part, especially for the look that I'm doing. And just because it's a simple, quick look, I'm only gonna do three layers of my um, lace made adhesive. And once that last layer um, is ready, we will go ahead and place the closure. Now, I mentioned before in my closure installs that I usually sew the closures, no matter if it's a quick weave or sewing install, I sew the closure around the, you know, around the perimeter area. But because I was on a press for time, like I mentioned, I actually just glued the closure down around the edges, which you guys will see um, in a few seconds after I get this last layer on and I begin to tack the closure down. But I did want to say that as far as the foundation color, when it comes to transparent lace, you have to add, you know, foundation like two or three times to really get the color to stick and blend with you. And I did use that Ruby Kisses foundation. Um, I used palette number 15 and I used the darker shade in palette 15. And like I mentioned before, I mix and match um, the palettes that I use. I always use palettes 13 through 15 and I use a darker shade in each palette. Whichever one I pick up is pretty much, you know, the one I use. But if you are somewhere in my skin tone complexion area, um, level 13 to 15 should be, you know, good for you and it'll make it do what you have to do. So, um, however, now that I went ahead and placed that lace closure, I went ahead and tied it down with the band so I can do this step easy peasy and also, you know, kind of kill two birds with one stone. So after applying the closure, I went ahead and tied the melt belt down around the edges. And now I'm taking my 30 second salon pro glue and I just put that bonding glue around the perimeter. Now, like I mentioned, and I'm gonna say it again, I usually always sew this down, but because I was on a press for time, 
I just had to glue it around the perimeter. Some people do this normally when they do the quick weave, you know, closure and frontal installs. But for me, I like to just sew everything down. But I also did know that I wasn't going to keep this in too long, probably no more than a week. So it was just like, whatever, I'm going to just do what I have to do. But this technique absolutely does work. So your closure still can be laid down by just, you know, bonding that hair well, bonding that, you know, putting the glue around that perimeter and tying it down. But you just want to make sure that when you stretch that closure out to lay flat, you stretch it all the way out and make sure it's laying completely flat. And then you could go ahead and blow dry it down to make sure it's dry and it's, you know, sticking and everything like that. But nevertheless, we're going to go straight into bonding these bundles. Um, really... You know, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You just want to bond the tracks until you get all the way to the top. And I like to start from the, the back end of the closure and I just bring it around. And basically, you just want to do this until you get all the way to the top. Um, I do double weft my quick weaves when I'm like placing the tracks down. One, you can get more hair on your head when you do it that way. Two, it speeds up your installation process because you're not cutting one track at a time, gluing it, one track at a time, gluing it. You're when you once you double the tracks, you can actually get more hair on your head and it makes you go way faster. So um, what I'm doing is just cutting, pasting, cutting, pasting, cutting, pasting. And I'm going to continue to do that technique until I get to the top. And um, also just a quick thing as far as track placement. Uh, once I start to get more towards the front, I will curve the tracks to come all the way like across my forehead, like like as if I was doing a bang. And that way, when I actually begin to curl in, you know, my hair and comb it out, it will fall in my face like how I want it to. Um, if you place the tracks directly sideways throughout the whole install, then your hair is going to be harder to kind of swoop it in your face if you want it to be swooped and really have like that, you know, across the forehead look. But... If you are a person who don't like hair in their face, then you would just glue them just, you know, straight up and down, up and down and instead of curving it towards the front, which you guys will see later on. And I would just, you know, re uh, you know, touch bases on what I meant by that. But uh, just continue to watch this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoy the final look. So keep watching.
Now, as you can see, I am beginning to curve the track towards the front, and this will help give you that fullness area if you are going for that, bang, you know, like that full bang look. Um, like I mentioned, if you do not want that hair so much in your face, then you will just continue to glue the tracks laying directly to the side instead of laying forward. But I like to do this um, for any of my bobs, whether it's an asymmetrical bob cut or like a curl bob look, because when you have that fullness in the front, it just really, really looks good. And right now I'm just um, section off the piece that's gonna lay for my last track, because as you can see, I left kind of a gap there. And that's because I'm gonna place those tracks going directly to the side. That way it's a smooth transition from my lace closure um, to the bundles. But now that I have curved enough of those tracks, I'm gonna continue by closing up this area by starting to lay the tracks going directly to the side again. Um, and once I just, you know, do that, I will continue to just glue it all the way up until that whole gap is closed. And that was the last track. We are done bonding everything in. So let me let my damn head breathe, child, and remove this melt belt. If you got the melt belt, you know the melt belt don't play. It do exactly what it says it's going to do. That belt is going to melt. Y'all know. If you know, you know. If you don't, get to know. And make sure you are ready for our next restock. Inventory, inventory, inventory just came in. Half of my inventory is here, and I'm waiting on more to come in. But in the meantime, I might do a soft, listen guys, soft light restock. And that's going to be for the inventory I still have left over. Um, so yeah, um, make sure you got your notifications turned on because I will do a pop-up restock on what we have before I open my new box of inventory. So make sure you guys are ready for that. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, under, underscore Beautiful Hustler, and also follow the personal page, I Am Beautiful Hustler, and most importantly, the brand page about all the products and everything at the Beautiful Hustler brand on Instagram. And also follow us on TikTok at I Am Beautiful Hustler. You know, just follow me on everything, y'all, because I be dropping the raw stuff everywhere, okay? Like, we, we taking this thing on every platform, and that's just on period. But, uh, however... Um, I went ahead and took my rat tail comb. I created my part. Y'all know I love my parts curved. I'm not, I used to do like the just regular straight parts, but it's just something about them curved parts that just really bring the style to life. And as y'all can see, y'all, for those who feel like, hey, I don't think I want to do color because I'm dark skin, or I don't think it's going to look right on me, or I, I think it's going to look ghetto. And whatever whatever listen if you want to try the color try the color okay just get you a raw color get you a raw look and just create greatness y'all gotta start you know stepping out your comfort zone and just doing stuff if you only got one life to live just live it as freely as you can try new things what's the worst that can happen if you don't like it take it out you know what i'm saying it's just that simple 
but just try it so this really inspired me to just really want to do more color videos because i somebody actually commented i see a few you know a few of you guys comment can we get some colored installs some meltdowns on you know with color hair and all that so here is your first request color 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 meltdown 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 so um after i went ahead and parted the hair I did go back in with that same level 15, the darkest shade in that foundation, and I tapped it across the hairline. And I just kind of like pre-prepped my hair for the styling process just by applying a little wax stick and hot combing. And from that foundation underneath that um, lace already, you can see it's giving scalp, but y'all know when I do my parts, I gotta go in with the concealer foundation and you know get it parted like Jesus parted the Red Sea, okay? We gotta get that thing nice, clean, nice little pathway. So we will get into that towards the end. But right now, I'm just going to take some Tresemme, spray across the hairline where the closure is laying, and tie that down again with the melt belt. And like I always mention with transparent lace, it always gives like that little white light, like lighter than your skin residue type of color thingy. I don't know what you really want to call it. But just apply, you know, apply the foundation as needed to get it to look as blended as possible. So in the meantime, between time, while that melt belt is sitting on there, I'm going to go ahead and get this hair curled up. Now on this video, I did not cut any layers. The hair was pretty much short. Um, but afterwards, like after the third day, I cut layers in the hair. But it still really gave off the same look. It's just that when you, you know, add some layers into the hair, it actually helped your style of your curls last longer because when it fall, it's going to fall like into a shape versus if you don't cut any layers when your hair drop it's just gonna drop it's not gonna have no body to it no nothing like you will have to go back in and you know what i'm saying recurl your hair so i highly recommend that if you really want your curls to last longer add some layers to your hair i know we get our bundles y'all we be like man i ain't trying to cut my bundles up but if you really really want those beautiful like popping curls and you want it to last and even when it get old you still want it to look good you're gonna have to cut some layers okay because the layers gonna make it pop so like i mentioned i did not cut layers originally when i did this style but after like the third day of wearing it i did cut some layers in it and the only difference in may is that it you know the curls lasted longer in my head because when it fell it still fell pretty but right now all i'm doing is just taking the hair and cutting the ends you know even still in an asymmetrical cut because i did want this side behind my ear to be you know shorter than the other side and now i went ahead and bought this new flat iron y'all i see every stylist with the babyless babyless whatever you want to call it flat irons and curlers i'm like you know what let me go ahead and get me one y'all y'all know i usually buy my flat irons they only be 20 to 40 dollars and this one right here was 150 and i was like oh child but you know what i'm saying you gotta do, you know you just gotta do what you gotta do you gotta keep the raw tools you know what i'm saying raw tools equals raw results so i did take this iron and i bought it from the hair store and i absolutely love it and let me tell you why I love it because not only is it a flat iron, it's like a curling iron as well. So the iron all around it gets hot. So that means it's perfect to create curls and don't touch it because you're going to burn your fingers. It does come like a little glove to protect your hands and all that. But y'all know, I ain't wearing no gloves. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. It made me feel weird when I'm holding a hot tool. So I just, hey, if I get a little burn, I get a little burn. As a stylist, get used to burns because we're going to burn ourselves all the time. But, however, I love this new flat iron that I purchased because, like I mentioned, the um, the plates all around it is hot. So, everywhere is silver right now, it's hot. And it creates the perfect curls without giving you that line. Because, you know, when you use a, reg a regular flat iron sometimes, when doing your curls, you might get, like, a line crease. But because this is also made for curling... It was perfect. It gets super, super hot. It was 465 degrees that it go up to. And y'all know most hot tools go to 450. If you're lucky, you can find one that's 500 um, degrees Fahrenheit. But this one right here was 465. So just off that, I knew it was going to be the real deal. And it is called like the Prima 3000 or something like that. 
super super lit love it like this is gonna be my new favorite right here i already know that because it just gets so hot and it just makes the job easier so i would say this is a very beginner friendly flat iron in my opinion especially with the type of curl with your flat iron and not necessarily a you know a hot curling tool um i'm in between about hot curlers like sometimes i feel like they could be really bomb if you get like a really really raw one but sometimes i'm curling irons it just don't get hot enough to me sometimes or it just you know you want different size curls for certain looks and you know if you're using a hot tool that's already curled it's going to give you that same look every time versus if you try you know you can curl it a little tighter with these type of flat irons i don't know maybe it's just me tripping but hey that's just how i feel about it but if we're using a, um like a curling hot tool is you know it works for you hey do what you gotta do get the look you know just slay period but i'm gonna just go ahead and keep grabbing these pieces and i'm just gonna curl everything up and once everything is all curled up i will go ahead and finger comb um the hair and also use like a wide tooth comb to just comb through it and you know just play with the look and everything like that and then at the end of this video i will drop the finishing look and show you guys um how everything came together after getting my makeup done as well and i'm gonna tell y'all girl my makeup artist killed the look okay like it gave exactly what it's supposed to give i had went out this night it was memorial day and baby the whole look just came together like she really got me together and what y'all gonna see y'all gonna see just keep watching at the end of this video y'all will see it all come together and based on the thumbnail y'all can see what i wore this black little leather um dress because my hair was already vibrant y'all know shari is doing her little nails thing shari made me these custom um these custom lime green press on nails and she also did my toes lime green which y'all didn't get to see but is giving what it was supposed to give so because my hair was green nails and my toes were green i just did like a nice sexy um black leather dress which i got from dolo um dolo's closet on instagram um yes i got this dress from dolo she got her little clothing brand going so yes it was it, i was just so proud of everybody who participated in this look like i slayed this color i slayed the install and then um, Sensational Shell, she slayed my makeup. Shari slayed with the press on nails. And then Dolo slayed with the rock piece. Like, it was, I, I, I was just here for this whole look. Like, this just made me so excited. Made me want to do more looks. And I already know what color I'm going to do for y'all next. So make sure y'all do subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on y'all bells because this this coloring thing, it's, it's going to get turned up and it's so many new colors i've been wanting to try that i never did and i can't wait to show y'all but however now that i'm done curling everything up i'm just gonna go ahead and remove that melt belt and i'm going to you know get the curls all in place and finger comb the hair so it can do what it's supposed to do and yeah i'm just gonna go in and just begin to comb and i just comb everything straight back because once you play with the hair it's it will start to you know fall and fluff out and you know give that look that you wanted to give you could go in some more if you want cut it shorter but you just really play with the hair until you get that desired look so like even throughout the end of this video my hair gonna look different in different videos because i'll just you know continuously going in finger combing playing with it until i just got that look that gave me what i you know what it gave me what it was supposed to give and i just love this hair i love this ombre like even though it's like it's 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 green to blue but it still have that it looks like from light green to dark green but then when you really look at it you can see the blue coming through like it was just everything for me like i really really love this look and we are almost done but just not quite yet we have to go in and add some foundation to that part to really give it that standout popping look and then once i do that that's when i went ahead and you know headed you know headed to my makeup appointment and my good girl got me together so make sure you guys just pay attention to the um the details below i'm gonna tag the makeup artist i'm gonna tag shari nail page for my custom press ons i'm also gonna tag dolo for the dress um and i'm also drop the picture after all my videos at the end of where i had did um you know of the outfit that i wore so you guys can see and as you can see when i was doing my part here it did get a little too wide and i made a mistake and got it on another part 
But how you fix that easily, I just went off camera and I went, you know, I just grabbed a little alcohol and I just gently wiped away the foundation that I, you know, I did not want there. But here is my makeup after my makeup artist did it. And here is this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. what it's supposed to get. And I saw my hair. And this is no filter, by the way. No filter. 